And now joining us from the coalition is a member of Knesset, Ruth Vasselmanlande from the Blue and White Party. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. So first of all, your reaction to the dissolution of the coalition, did it come as a surprise to you? Uh, first of all, the breaking of the coalition did not come as a surprise. We didn't know exactly when it will take place. We did expect it, I believe, not only the Blue and White Party, but um, mostly everyone in the Knesset expected it. Do you believe that Prime Minister Naftali Bennett and Foreign Minister Yair Lapid made the right move in their dissolution? Look, they saw what was happening. Prime Minister uh, Bennett decided that given the fact that most of his, or at least many of the members of his party were um, thinking about leaving, particularly Olbach, who was the last candidate, um, debating whether to leave or not and when exactly, that he should take the first step, the lead step as a gentleman and also as, um, I believe, a kind of a right act uh, because of the law that didn't come into place and couldn't be legislated given the West Bank. Um, so for him, he did the right thing. I think in order to try and stabilize the relatively instable uh, coalition, perhaps this was the rightest move uh, in a difficult, challenging uh, situation. But do you, do you think the country really needs another round of elections now? Look, I never think the country needs another round of elections. I think that elections are expensive, that the public is tired of elections. Plus, there was no clear-cut answer in the first four rounds of elections. Um, nonetheless, uh, we'll see. If there is an attempt to create some kind of government, that's what will happen, uh, provided, of course, it is the right government, the right ideology, the good thing for the state of Israel in order to forward value-oriented services for its citizens. Uh, nonetheless, if this doesn't come through, then unfortunately, there will be no other option but to go for elections. But if I think this is the optimum, of course not. And it seems that for now, you know, the two main contenders for the prime minister's office are Yair Lapid and Benjamin Netanyahu. Has Benny Gantz given up his run for the prime minister's chair? I can tell you my personal view and perception. I think that Benny Gantz is the most suitable candidate uh, for the premiership in this country, given his uh, experience in the security field, given his responsibility, his stature. Um, and for the stability of this country, uh, given his acceptance by both camps. Uh, nonetheless, we respect what is happening currently, and we'll wait and see what um, uh, happens within the Knesset with the current premiership of Yair Lapid. And if we have to go to elections, as I said, it's not the optimal uh, outcome, but if we do, we'll manage and we'll Take one step at a time. And is there a chance for another rotation? I mean, will blue and white sit with Netanyahu? Benny Gantz had said only yesterday, uh, I believe he even mentioned it today as well, that the credit, uh, the political credit that Benjamin Netanyahu has had with the Israeli public has run out, and therefore he will not uh, negotiate or sit with him uh, currently. But is this the right move? I mean, a no BB policy? After all, we've just tried a government without, uh, and we see how that turned out. First of all, this government and this uh, coalition, despite uh, the many challenges that it had, did very many positive, extremely positive things for the public. One, it uh, made the budget go through, which was something that did not happen for three years. But we also did a lot of other things. One of the issues that I dealt with personally and were very horrific on the agenda of this particular government in terms of how um, much energy and attention, not to mention budget, that was allocated for it is the issue of law and order. 
strengthening the law um, enforcement agencies, the police, the issues of the crime and violence, which went completely out of control in the Arab sector and has been out of control for the past 10 years during the Netanyahu leadership. And the question is not the issue of irresponsibility. The question is, is Benjamin Netanyahu a trusted partner? Um, Benny Gantz tried that once and was sadly disappointed by, um, you know, the actions taken by this leader. So one learns from former experience. All right, member of Knesset, Ruth Vassal Lande, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. Thank you very much. Have a good day.